entertainment business, they would call they would say roadies or something like that. Y'all y'all would like they, you know roadies they would, would label it as that, but it was more so like security. Call me yo. He would call me yo, bro. You going to L.A.? I'm like yo, yeah, you know I'm bringing thirty niggas with me. <laughs> you know it wasn't it wasn't you know sometimes he sometimes he foot the bill, sometimes he foot our own bill. Right. Were you uh were you in the in the tunnel tonight uh that y'all had the um the encounter with uh Peanut from Brooklyn? Yes. You was there? Yes, of course. Okay, what can you recall about that situation? Jim, if you if you could get with Jim, he'll tell you the story. Every time he see me, he tell me that story. I seen him. I seen him tell the story on Drink Champs. I got Baby Bob's. His, I got his uh version. I'd like to know, you know, where you was at that night. I'm the guy in the story. You the guy in the snorkel? Yeah. There it is. All right. <laughs> okay, it makes sense now because he said he said two of them came out and Hello. shit. So. Hello. Hello. Right. <laughs> All right. Did you know who? Uh, did you know who Peanut was? Baby Bob said he ain't had no idea. I had who. no idea who the man was. He looked like Tupac. Right. So when did y'all uh start to get you know um the uh you know the word like yo that was some real people that y'all just had that incident with? It didn't even matter at that time. At the, at the, the mind state we was in at that time, we didn't care. Right. If you go, if you go back, if you, if you know, if you do some history, you do some research. Our tagline was "Anybody Killers." <laughs> Ooh, so you let you let him up out of there that night. You know the thing was, we, you know, you. I don't know if you if you've ever been to the tunnel. Nah, nah, it's, I'm, I'm I'm a little younger than y'all and shit. But the tunnel was jail with bitches, <laughs> liquor, and jokes. All right. So what? You, what was the bath? Tell me about this co-ed bathroom, my nigga. Oh no, that was crazy, man. That was like that was crazy. Like you, you never know what you will see there. You never know what you walk in on all types. Oh my god! Right. And that was new for us too at the time. You understand what I'm saying? A co a co-ed like, co situation. That whole yeah. idea that was that was totally that was, new. That was something else, man. Right. Was it safe? Was it safe to uh, be up in there flossing? In them bathrooms, if he wasn't built like that, not at not at all. It's not at all. Not at all. And we, you know, we had a system that we worked with when we rolled. You know what I'm saying? No man is by himself. Right. Oh, so wherever y'all at in the club, even though y'all thirty deep, y'all is five, three over here, four over here. No, no man is alone, man. We not, you're not alone, man. Right. No doubt. Um. Damn. What was the um the security situation? You know, the, the tunnel has a the, the, the tunnel has a whole documentary now. It has a whole documentary now. So the cat's out the bag. A lot of niggas, a lot of niggas get on these platforms and they be stunting like they was this, and they it was a select few groups of people who did what they had to do, and they could go in there and they could do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not taking you know the incident with nut. We just had the upper hand at the time, but he wasn't no sucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. He definitely you know wasn't no sucker. You know, we just had we just happened to have the upper hand at that time. The tables could have been turned easily because he was a G. Yeah. So you was what I'm was it years later that you found out? You know who he was? You know when I found out when you post the picture. For real? When I that's, <laughs> when, I, that's when I found out that that was him in the in the in the, in the situation. Okay, and you know, you, 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 are you loosely familiar with his story or anything like that? A little bit, you know, not too much. You, you know, I know he had, you know, the, the situation with world and everything, you know, right. you know. He was a street star out of Brooklyn. He's in a Little oh. Kim video. He's in the Get Money video. Uh, Little Kim is like rapping to him. They feed him okay. grape, grapes and shit like that. He was a... Uh, I'm being told he was he was about some paper and he's a fly guy and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you like this. He didn't cower. He didn't cower. Right. I wouldn't. I would. I would not disrespect that man and say that he cowered that night. Word. Um. How long would you say that uh, your career, 
your your career as a um you know murder unit member on the streets. How long how long was your run? I'm still alive, Gully. Nah, I'm talking about before you got booked. Before oh. before we before we start to make our life changes and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I would say uh, easy easily twenty five years. At twenty five, you started to mature. Not at all. I was in a maximum security prison at twenty five. Okay. When you was up there, when you was up in the mountains, your reputation as a, a as a murder unit member, what was that? What was that like? It precedes you. Yeah, uh, you motherfucking right. It precedes you. It, it precedes you. So when you get to places, of course you got the guys that you know, but you also got the guys. Now let's let's see if this nigga really what he about. He say he about. Right. Was you, was, you did, did, did you, you get? Gotta check, you gotta check them pistols in it in central booking. Did you get challenged like that up there? Of course, of course. You say, of course, but after, you know you go through you go through what you go through. You know everybody start to figure he is about what he say he about. You right. Know, the city is not a myth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She, you win some, you lose some. You know that's that's just how it works. How much um how much time did you do um on your big stretch? Uh, for 13, 13 years and eight months. Thirteen years. What did you allege? What would you? What were you allegedly convicted of? Or did you? Pl- or did you plead? I was charged. I was charged with murder in the second degree, manslaughter in the first degree. I went to court and I eventually copped out the manslaughter in the second degree. Okay. This it was a highly publicized incident. It was. It was pretty. I don't know if you ever heard of the, the strip club Sue's Rendezvous. Right. I killed a guy there. Okay. Was what was was that something that you had to do that night? Looking nah, that at that was my ego, man. That was my ego. Right. In retrospect, you know, you being how how old was you at um at that time? Twenty one. Oh yeah, we twenty one niggas be buck fucking wild at twenty one, man. Alcohol, alcohol, money, naked bitches, and testosterone. It's big a bad mix. Big bank roll in your pocket. My ain't tell you shit. Of course. Yeah. All right. So, well, um, damn, damn, damn. All right. So you did. You said fifteen. Yeah, that was my sentence. Fifteen years, but you know, with the good time and all of that nonsense, you get a little couple of months chopped off. You did most of your time up there during the whole blood ep- epidemic. Yes. Okay. Um, you being murder unit, I spoke to um. Baby Bob prior, and he was like, you know, y'all was on the street during the era when, you know, when Pistol Pete and all of them was out there, and when everybody was turning blood, y'all remained. Pistol man, Bronx legend. Did you know Pistol? Yes. Salute Pistol, Bronx legend. Salute Xavier, Bronx legend. These are these guys are these guys are they stand up guys. You know, we we always gotta salute the stand up guys, man. We can't forget about the man, the guys that. That they, they, they rolled the things out the way they were supposed to. Right. So what, what was the climate like when all the neighborhoods was turning blood and y'all said, you know, we're not going to pick up no flag. We're going to just be MU. What was that like? It was like, it was like a little island of our own. It's a little island of our own. Gerard Avenue was an island? It's a, it's a one block stretch. It's, it's, it's actually four blocks from 153 to 157, but there's no cross street. So it's one long continuous street. Right, and that was us. We a family, bro. It's no, it was no hierarchy. It wasn't a gang. You know what I'm saying? Right. A lot of people get it misconstrued that we we were a gang. We, I ate in these guys' house. They ate in my house. We slept in each other's house. We shared clothes. You know the the, the, the regular. So this some this is this is M U was some homie shit. Some homie and shit. Father, mother, Farrell, fucking South. You know, gotta remember the South Bronx is like the most fucked up congressional district in America. Right. So we did, you know, we band together. We're not a project either. We we fucking tenement buildings. Okay. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the Bronx. Um, oh man. This 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 interview with you, man. It's a little bit of, it's it's a little bit complex, man. You're a very very key player, and this shit is like X rated. You, you know what I'm saying? This is, X-rated, man. I feel that you gave me enough, though, in regards to this project. I don't... Anything else that you would like to volunteer, you can go ahead. Um, oh, 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 oh. I have to ask this. The jewelry shit. 
what, what was was that just something that y'all that was that like regular wreck or I mean y'all was dressed like y'all was getting block money like y'all was getting some money in the streets and shit. We was, we was all right, but that that was the fun. That was the fun at the end of the night. Oh, take <laughs> take a chain at the end of the night. It's, it's people. It's people. You know that can vouch for this. I took a rolly a rolly a night for about three months when I was on the run for the body. Uh, going to clubs? Yeah. He said a rolly a night for three months. God damn. Um, I seen some names associated, some some celebrity names associated with y'all situations. Uh, we don't have to put no label on it, man. But notorious, man, murder unit out of the Bronx. I appreciate you, uh, bro. You could shout out, uh, you know, Daryl Henderson. You could shout out D Boss. You could sh- you know I'm gonna do that. Got to got got to shout out D Boss, my brother. I love you. You know we here for you. We with you. Rest in peace, JB. Rest in peace, Low Love. Rest in peace, Lil Dog. Rocco, we coming to get you for Thursday, nigga. Friend, you out that federal shit, nigga. We coming to get you. We gonna be there with the V's, the Cubans, the Rollies shining up nice. We gonna bring you out of there right, homie. Oh, one of y'all, one of y'all, one of y'all members coming home this week. Thursday, baby, the fourteenth, man. How much time he did? Sixteen joints. Ooh, we wreck West uh, welcome home to him. Um, Deuce. Rocco, big rock, Rocco, calling that. Deuce, man, I really, really appreciate you, man. Um, we got, we got, we got to do this again, man. I'm gonna need some more details, and if you got some pictures for me, I appreciate if you send them through, G. All right, no doubt. I got this your direct line. I got you. Whenever I come, when I come across him, you know, I gotta go to mom's house. I gotta go to all these different places to find that stuff. That stuff is like, like fucking. Nostalgic to everybody, yeah. You know? Yeah, I'll be in touch, man. We're gonna do this again real soon. If I, I need you, I'll call you. you man. All right, Project Gully TV. Yeah, peace.